There we go. Have you ever wondered why some woods dent easily and then others seem almost indestructible? Well, it's not magic, it's science. Well, today we're gonna be unraveling the mystery behind the toughness of wood. So I was talking to a customer the other day about a certain species that he wanted to use for an upcoming project of his. And he seemed fascinated when I mentioned the Jenka hardness scale and the differences of hardnesses between different species. So I thought it'd be a really great topic for a video this week. So let's Let's get into it. I don't know, you, some of you may or may not have children or grandchildren. You know, kids moving around a bunch, jumping and playing and breaking stuff all the time. You know they're gonna be really tough on the wood, especially the floors. Slamming their toys down on the table, denting your hardwood tables, you never know. I always bring up the fact that people should use harder woods when it comes to their projects because of its resistance to damage. So the Jenka hardness scale basically measures the resistance of damage to a sample piece of wood. It's named after Gabriel Jenka, an Austrian wood researcher. Basically what they do during the Jenka hardness test is they take a 44th inch round steel ball using a press and measuring the pounds of force it takes to push that steel ball halfway into a sample piece of wood. And the amount of pounds of pressure it takes is the number it receives on the Jenka scale. Just a quick break, so if you have any questions, make sure you type them in the comments below and then like and subscribe for more content like this. Now back to the video. So you're asking yourself, what is the Jenka hardness test and how is it conducted? Well, I'm not only gonna tell you, I'm also gonna show you. In an effort to demonstrate the Jenka hardness test, we're gonna jam this golf ball halfway into this piece of styrofoam we got here. So this styrofoam will represent the sample piece of wood. This golf ball is gonna represent the 44th inch steel ball and this piece of Red oak is gonna represent our press. So basically what they do is take steel ball, they measure the pounds of force it takes to drive the steel ball into the sample piece of wood. Halfway. There we go. That is nowhere near halfway, but you get the point. And now you're asking yourself, what's the difference between one type of wood and another? So I'm gonna break out some lumber and show you the differences. All right, guys, let's look at some North American species and how they measure up on the Jenka scale. Over here, we have white pine, which measures a 380 on the Jenka hardness scale. This stuff is extremely soft extremely soft stuff. It is really low on the scale and very fibrous, wide grain, absorbs moisture easily, and also releases the moisture quicker too. So when you're in an area that's got fluctuating humidity, this stuff, you know, is gonna, is gonna move on you. It's a softwood that's gonna be easy on your tools and a uh, very cheap, inexpensive way to get into woodworking for beginners. And then now moving down, we have soft maple and cherry that both rank a 950 on the Jenka scale. These are uh, both hardwoods. So you're gonna be able to make things out of both of these species and it's gonna be easier on your tools, on your bits and everything. And it's gonna look beautiful. These are my top two favorite species is soft maple and cherry. Moving on, we got black walnut, which ranks uh, 1010 or 1000. 10 pounds on the Jenka hardness scale. Black walnut, you can make everything from cutting boards along with the maple and cherry, charcuterie boards, anything really decorative while still having that utility of being able to make it into tables, uh, countertops, uh, mantelpieces, really anything that you could set your mind to. Moving on, we have um, white oak face on. This is where we're gonna get into our tougher, more durable of the hardwood. These species are tough. It'll be a little bit tougher on your tools, but got it. White oak is very versatile when thinking about using it for um, anything, really. Furniture, cabinets, you could do it. We, we cut a lot of this stuff green for trailer decking and blocking. All right, next up is hard maple, which ranks just a little bit higher at 1450, 1,450 pounds. This stuff is beautiful. A lot of people like to pair up the hard maple with the walnut because of the color contrast, especially when making cutting boards Boards, anything that you can put your mind to that needs to be durable. All right, last but definitely not least is our hickory. Now, this hickory is really tough stuff. 
Hickory ranks 1,820 on the Jenka scale. A lot of people use this hickory for smoking. A lot of people use hickory for cabinets as it is very extremely durable, highly resistant to wear and tear, hickory flooring, hickory anything really. So understanding the Jenka scale can help you choose the right wood for your next project. But remember, the higher the number, the harder the lumber. So thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and click here for the next video. Actually, technically it's a second take. The higher the number, the harder the lumber. <laughs> that rhymed. Beating up boards. Punching boards in the face.